Okay, so here's a follow-up video. I've got all these bearings packed. I've got the seals installed. And so now I'm gonna just kind of show you how I do it. I greased the hub up. I slid this on with the seal and the, and the rear bearing in there. And then I take and I wipe a bunch of grease in here. That way, when I take my new bearing, slide it in here. Any grease that I may have missed on the way, I mean, I did. I don't know. It's just an extra pre precaution. You still have to pack your bearings, you know, which is a separate video. So that bearing goes in nice and smooth. This washer or keeper, and then and that goes on and I learned the hard way about 10 years ago I did this on my car and I over tightened this bearing I got 100 miles down the road burned up the bearing and then I drove another 200 miles on it and we're lucky I didn't die so what you do is you, you tighten this up well I'll just do it we got time we got lots of time Maybe. My hands are so greased up I can't turn this on. So what you do is you suck this up until it's all tight and, and then I come back a quarter turn and then maybe suck it up again and then I come back an eighth of a turn or however, however it is so that you can keep this spinning and then you put your cotter pin in. And, Gosh, I wish I could show you. I'll get a better setup. I'll do a better video of this whole process. Um, I just feel like posting shit on Facebook. So, anyway, there's something.